Welcome to Chattogram and the Zoram Achrazi Cricket Stadium. We're here for the first game of the T20 International Series. Oh, Bangladesh, you have the coin, sir. Tails, please. Tails is the call. Tails is the call. Heads it is. It is a head. Shanto, what are you going to do first and why? Uh, I like to bowl first. Look at the two uh, teams. Tino, Sikandar Raza talking about... Uh, right, we'll have to wait and see. Of course, the Bangladesh team, uh, Athar, uh, have a look at them. Uh, the Strong maybe bowling unit in home conditions for Bangladesh. Between Bangladesh and Zimbabwe. Five and uh, must welcome HD Ackerman as... Thoughts go out to all those that are uh, uh, impacted by it. Of there. youth and experience as the Joy Lord Gopi. all the difference with the new ball in hand and... Bit of movement, bit of swing, visible, that races away to the boundary. Ranjan Madhugale. Oh, oh, got in! He's got the breakthrough. Cleaned up, Arvin. Here's the first one. Well, some might have questioned the decision to open with the spinner. When you win the toss and you bowl first, you would think that it would be two seamers, but no. Bangladesh go with the off spinner and he gets it to just straighten. Just ever so slightly, but it's enough to go past the outside edge of Irvin. And Zimbabwe have lost their first. It's the experienced Craig Irvin who goes without scoring. Zimbabwe, eight for one. Down the leg, gone! Only to find Daskin Ahmed, a short point leg. And he has the first laugh, that's Saifuddin. Well, you can give it the term that you want. Strangle, burgle, because it's not Saifuddin's finest delivery in international cricket, that's for sure. He's bowled better that have beaten outside edges. This one, he's a little bit fortunate. It's a good catch. Gumbi just flips at it and straight to the man, straight to Tuscan at short fine leg. And Saifuddin is back on the board for Bangladesh. It's Gumbi, the man on debut who goes for 17, Zimbabwe, 36 for two. It's time to come back. There will be tentative, a lot of yes and no's now. There's a chance of a run out here. I think the Bangladeshis think that they've got the man. And I think he's walking back. That was a terrible mix-up. Well, well, well. After a very encouraging start, the wheels are coming off. Zimbabwe have lost another. He's gone straight away, Bennett. Wonderful bit of fielding. There was no single there. Sean Williams not interested. Brian Bennett cannot make his ground. Zimbabwe in trouble. He goes for 16, 36 for three. Look straight back. Oh, that's a risky one. There will be another one. Unbelievable happening here. This is Just in time, Sikandaraza. He appears to me that the ball has hit the gloves. Can I have a freezer replay there? As I can see, the ball has hit the gloves. Well, that has been confirmed. The captain goes without bothering the scorers. It's 36 for four. Trying to guide it, gets the inside part of the bat and crashes into the stumps. I cannot believe my eyes. Shamim Chaudhry. They've lost another one. Sean Williams giving himself a bit of room, which is something he does to the seamers. Cramped for space, probably a bit of extra bounce as well. All that doesn't matter because it's another wicket for Bangladesh. Ricochets into the leg stump and Williams goes without troubling the scorers. 38 for five. Oh, with the ball, they've gone. Straight to Richard. What is going on here? Absolutely collapsing the Zimbabwean like a house of cards. This is incredible happenings here at the Zahorama Chaudhry Stadium. Bangladesh are on fire.
It's another one. Ryan Burl lazily just coming onto the front foot. <coughs> no real intent in that stroke. Tuskin Ahmed gets another one. 38 for six now, Zimbabwe. Ryan Burl goes for none. Played enough to know what's expected in this instance. And another one. Short. He tried to drag it from outside the upstump. David Ridoy. It hung, it hung in the air for a while. He's very disappointed. Wasn't really no reason to go for that shot. And he paid the price. But once again, Bangladesh really dictating terms here. Another one bites the dust. Now yeah, this one's banged in. Jongwe hasn't got himself in the best position to play the pull shot. Got onto him bit early. Hits the toe end of the bat. And Zimbabwe present Bangladesh with another simple wicket. Gone for two, Jongwe. 41 for seven. Young Cross and he's up and down. Good for Yoko in the right areas. And they've struck again. Tuskin Ahmed with a superb Yoko has uh, dropped it through the defenses. And at last, Bangladesh have got the eighth wicket. Marvelous delivery from Tuskin Ahmed. Such an important delivery, the Yorker, and that's why a batsman who's well set, who's kept Zimbabwe alive and steering them to a decent enough total, is dismissed by that delivery. Very well played, young man, Clive Madande. Goes for 43, 116 for 8. To finish it all off, it's the Yorker. You expected that, and that is that wonderful celebration of uh, Mohamed Saifuddin. Gets the stumps to get shattered, and uh, Zimbabwe lose another one. Oh, what another beautiful Yorker. Full straight through the Zimbabwean defences once again. He's been outstanding this evening for a man coming back into the side after a while. It's his third wicket. Mohamed Saifuddin and Zimbabwe lose their ninth. Blessing Musarabani goes for one. 119 for nine. So, full toss. Just doesn't manage to get a hold of it. They're going for a couple of runs. Which Oh, it's a great hit. Now, that might be worth looking at because they feel... That what a great throw that was. And short, yeah, well short, short Wellington Masakadza. His ground, I'm satisfied. Um. It's Rocket O-U-T. And that is eventually the completion which brought Zimbabwe back into the game. That man, very... Uh, Gumbi started off pretty well, but uh, the trouble started... Uh. Yeah, partnerships not many to speak of. 20. The bowling has been very impressive, two for 16. Have a look at the highlights. They started off uh, with the decision by Bangladesh to... Right, so uh, the player's gone in, uh, there's a... Uh, Making sure that when they get an opportunity, uh, they've managed to... Uh, Mozarabane, both six foot plenty. The last time he played at this venue, Tanzid Hassan Tami, he rightly man. pointed out, up against some quality bowling, because there is enough for the bowlers. He's got an impressive T20 career record, not, I don't say the international. Just like that. Beautiful delivery. Came back sharp enough and knocks the middle stump out. I first got a glimpse of blessing Muzarabani against Afghanistan in a test match. And he was very, very impressive then. And he remains an impressive prospect for Zimbabwe. An absolute beauty. A good length delivery, a little bit of movement. The perfect delivery up front accounts for a very fine player. Little Das goes for one. Bangladesh have lost an early one. They are five for one. Balls. Straight to the fielder. And the change in bowling has worked. You were spot on. Now, Sean Williams, the fielder, square on the onside, takes the catch. Captain Nazmul Hussain Shanto looking to go 
a lot straighter than this, I think. The bat just turning in the hand, face closing on connection. Sean Williams won't drop opportunities like that. Bangladesh lose their second. Captain goes for 21. Bangladesh, 57 for two, and it's also time for a drink. That'll be it. A boundary to finish the match. And coming off the bat of Tanzit. On debut, he ends unbeaten on 67. A wonderful. Yeah, they had their hearts in their mouths. Batted throughout the innings and controlled it. Support right at the end from was the one who put together a partnership with Masakadza. 70 T20 World Cup. A victory for Bangladesh by eight wickets. Two seamers. So, uh, that uh, wonderful contribution from him. Bangladesh lost an early wicket in Lytton Darcy. was bowled by a beauty. Yeah, and got over. You would expect that. Here in Shotogram. And that's the story of the day. Zimbabwe put into back. Don't first. go away because we're going to be back very soon.